Hello, and welcome to the tie tutorial. This move was first showcased in the Squeezers V3 trailer, but I didn't really showcase the best part about this move, and that's the repetition that you can get with the single cart going down the fan, which you can do five, six plus times. It's a really unique move, a utility move that you can pair with a lot of combos and just do on its own. So it's very versatile and it's very simple to learn. The only prerequisite you're going to need for this move is the Schmear Fan, which you can learn here on Card Perfect Magician's channel. He does have a video of it. This move was first made in early 2020 when I first got back into cardistry and I'm really excited to finally get this tutorial out. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So you're going to want to start in straddle grip, which is this grip with your pointer finger up top your pinky at the bottom here, and then your middle and other finger on the side, and then on the other side will be your thumb. You're gonna use your thumb and your pointer finger or more than your pointer finger, you can use your middle and your others to break off a packet, and then you're just gonna go straight into schmear fan. Once you have your schmear fan, you're going to turn it 180 degrees, so the side of your forearm that's facing down is now gonna be facing upwards. If you're right-handed and you're doing the fan in your right hand, you're going to go clockwise. If you were left-handed, you would be going counterclockwise. Once you have your smear fan and it's turned 180 degrees, you're going to notice that your elbow is kind of sticking forward, so you're going to bring your elbow back. So your elbow is going to be back behind your body a little bit here, and that's going to put you in the angle to let the card fall, go down the fan, and into the deck. So how exactly do you do that? So you're gonna do your smear fan, and what you're gonna see is that you have your middle and the finger next to your pinky is gonna be able to lift up this card here. Once it lifts up, you're gonna let go, and it's gonna hit your pointer finger like that. If you're tilted at a good enough angle downwards, you do that, and it's gonna slide. It's gonna hit the pointer finger and slide down. So I really want to highlight this section of the move because it really is the crux of the move and the whole move itself. So once you've done your smear fan and you've turned it, you're going to push it up with your middle and your index finger and you're going to have it hit your pointer finger here and then slide down the rest of the deck because you have it at an angle. So basically you're just letting one card go at a time and letting it slide down until you run out of cards. You're going to push up with your middle and index finger the card that's on very top, like so, just pushing it up. You're going to let it drop, and it should hit your pointer finger, and if you have a good enough downwards angle, it should slide. So just like that. And it's going to take a little bit of playing around with to get the motion right. So once your middle and index finger have pushed it up, you're going to let it hit and fall, and then you can just keep doing this until you kind of run out of cards to push up. And that's usually around six or seven from what I've seen. Once again, you wanna have your fan tilting down towards the deck. You're gonna to wanna to let it slide and hit onto the deck. I usually have this hand pretty wide open so that it kind of catch is a catch all. So your thumb and all your fingers are pointed upwards, kind of in like this weird section where it'll just slide and get caught in there pretty easily. So. Just like that. And this is a pretty easy move. You guys can probably hopefully learn this pretty quickly um, once you get kind of the angle down and once you've just practiced it for a little bit. And once you've done it, you really can combo it with a lot of moves. So you can do other moves and as long as you end up in this type of position, you can go straight into it and do it. So anything, anytime that you can go into a schmear fan, you can basically do this move, which is it's very nice in that you can combo into it pretty easily, like so. So how do you close this move? Well, there's a ton of different options. I really want you to play around with it and experiment, but some of the easier ones that I have found are as follows. So for starters, there's one way where every card that slides down and goes into your other hand, you can use your thumb to pull it down, like so you would just repeat that motion. So just every time, repeat it. Or another way you can do it is you can use, do a tongue. So have four or five of the cards facing face up, 
and then you can use your thumb to push it over those cards and have your other fingers pushing it up and then your thumb will just go and finish it to close it. So again, several cards in your hand, push with your thumb and over and then push up with these ones to close it. And then I'll usually just close my smear fan by reversing what I did to get the smear fan. And then I usually like to add a little twirl and hopefully you don't drop the card. But uh, we can't all be perfect. That was a pun. So that is my move tie. Um, you can really use this in a variety of situations. That's not why I'm gonna tell you a specific way to do it. But you can just, once you have that smear fan, you can do it into a Charlie Air cut. You can do it after a combo. The combinations are endless. So don't limit yourself into doing it the way that I have done it. Really explore different ways yourself. I've done it onto my foot. I've done it after, like I've said, like in the combo. And then I've also just done it several times into a packet like this and then flipped it over afterwards. Really just get creative with it. That's really what this move is about. It's a very nice utensil. Um, so I want to thank Card Perfect Magician for having me on. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me at Car Street Talk on Instagram and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. So that's all. Bye-bye.